In just 10 minutes, discover 10 powerful takeaways from Dr. Tara Swartz's conversation with Stephen Bartlett on The Diary of a CEO. Learn where stress secretly leaks out, the strange eye trick nobody talks about, and the brain habit silently killing you. Packed with real neuroscience-backed hacks, stress-busting secrets, human connection science, and brain-boosting tips you've never heard, this video delivers exactly what your mind and body need right now. Takeaway 1. Look into someone's left eye first. One of the most surprising and fascinating points in this podcast is Dr. Tara Swartz's advice to always look into a person's left eye when trying to truly connect with them. She explains that the left eye links directly to the right hemisphere of the brain, which is responsible for emotions, empathy, memory, and human connection. When you make eye contact through a person's left eye, you are connecting to the emotional, instinctive part of their brain, not just the logical or defensive side. This helps build trust faster and makes conversations feel safer and more genuine. Swart mentions that most people tend to look into both eyes or focus randomly without realizing that which eye you look into actually matters. By focusing on the left eye, you send an unspoken signal of empathy and interest, which can soften people's defenses. This is especially important in situations involving negotiation, emotional conversations, or first impressions. She also points out that this technique can improve romantic relationships, business meetings, and even interactions with strangers. It taps into ancient human biology, where eye contact was one of the earliest nonverbal communication tools for survival, trust, and bonding. For example, a psychology study done in California found that people felt significantly more emotionally connected after maintaining direct eye contact through the left eye compared to the right. They reported stronger feelings of warmth, honesty, and connection, even though they couldn't explain why. Swartz suggests practicing this in everyday conversations to see how people respond differently. Try it the next time you greet someone, whether it's a friend, a partner, or a colleague. Watch how their posture, tone, and openness subtly change. It sounds simple, but it can change the depth and quality of your relationships in powerful, invisible ways. Now let's move to the next takeaway. Takeaway two, stress literally leaks through your skin. Stress is not an invisible force that only lives in your head. Dr. Swart explains that it physically shows up in your body, often through your skin. Stress releases hormones like cortisol, which can cause skin problems such as dryness, irritation, acne, or even skin conditions like eczema. The skin is the body's largest organ and one of the first places where stress becomes visible. This stress also affects digestion, leading to symptoms like bloating, diarrhea, and stomach pain, because the gut and brain are closely connected. Swart highlights that belly fat is directly related to stress because cortisol encourages the body to store more fat in the abdominal area. For example, a U.S.-based study showed that people who experience long-term stress had higher rates of skin issues and age faster than those with lower stress, regardless of lifestyle or diet. Now let's move to the next takeaway. Takeaway three, stress is contagious and spreads fast. Dr. Swart warns that stress can spread like a virus through social contact and environments. This is because of a system in the brain called mirror neurons, which are cells that mimic the emotions and behaviors of people around you. When you're in a room with stressed, anxious, or angry people, your brain starts to copy their emotional state without you even realizing it. She explains how a tense office environment or a difficult relationship can quietly and constantly raise your stress levels just by being present in that space. This kind of stress transfer is unconscious and fast. For example, a scientific experiment showed that people placed in a room with visibly stressed individuals had increased heart rates and stress hormone levels within just 10 minutes without anyone speaking a word. Now let's move to the next takeaway. Takeaway four, belly fat is your stress alarm. According to Dr. Swart, belly fat is more than just a cosmetic issue. It is a loud flashing signal that your body is under too much stress. When stress levels rise, the body produces extra cortisol, which tells the body to store more fat around the stomach area. This type of fat is particularly dangerous because it increases the risk of serious health problems like heart disease and diabetes. If you have stubborn belly fat despite exercising and eating well, 
Swartz says you probably need to address your stress levels first, not just your calorie intake. For example, a Yale University study confirmed that women with higher stress stored fat specifically in the abdominal area, even when their diets were healthy and controlled. Now let's move to the next takeaway. Takeaway 5. Touch and tone create emotional bonds. Dr. Swart explains how simple human touches, facial expressions, and the tone of someone's voice can instantly change how safe or stressed a person feels. The nervous system picks up these small social cues very quickly, even before the conscious brain processes them. She explains that the way you greet someone or speak to them can either lower their stress or increase it. A warm touch on the arm or a soft, kind voice lowers stress hormone levels and triggers a sense of safety in the brain. For example, studies with newborn babies have shown that their heart rates stabilize faster and they cry less when held skin to skin by a calm, relaxed person, proving how powerful these nonverbal signals are. We're halfway through the video. Thank you for sticking with us this far. If you're enjoying it, please give us a thumbs up and share it in your WhatsApp groups. We'd love to hear your thoughts, so feel free to comment below. To see more videos like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Now let's continue with the video. Takeaway six, train your brain with daily habits. Dr. Swartz says the key to handling stress is not about motivation or willpower but about creating daily habits that train the brain to be calmer and more resilient. She highlights how things like meditation, regular sleep, balanced meals, and gratitude journaling can rewire the brain's response to stress. She recommends writing down three positive things each day, no matter how small, as a way to slowly shift your brain's focus towards optimism. For example, research has shown that meditating just 10 minutes a day for eight weeks changes the brain structure especially in areas related to stress, memory, and emotional control. Now let's move to the next takeaway. Takeaway seven, neuroplasticity can reshape your life. Neuroplasticity is the brain's ability to physically change and adapt by forming new connections. Dr. Swart insists that no one is stuck with the brain they were born with. People can reshape their brain at any stage in life by practicing new habits, learning skills, and challenging old beliefs. Simple acts like changing your daily routine, learning a musical instrument, or traveling to new places build new neural pathways and strengthen the brain's resilience. For example, London taxi drivers who spend years memorizing city maps have a visibly larger hippocampus, the brain's navigation center, than people in other jobs, proving that intense learning rewires the brain. Now let's move to the next takeaway. Takeaway 8. High performers need downtime too. Swart challenges the popular idea that success comes from constant grinding and pushing. She explains how long-term stress, even if driven by ambition, damages the brain, shrinking the areas responsible for focus, empathy, and decision-making. She insists that creativity and resilience are born during rest, boredom, and playful moments. High achievers who never take breaks actually reduce their long-term potential. For example, Google's famous policy of allowing employees to spend 20% of their time on personal projects has led to major innovations like Gmail and Google Maps, proving that downtime breeds genius. Now let's move to the next takeaway. Takeaway 9, Childhood Stress Shapes Adult Health. Dr. Swart explains how stress experienced in childhood creates lasting changes in the brain and body. Growing up in a tense or unstable home can cause people to develop overactive stress responses leading to problems like anxiety, addiction, and poor health later in life. These early emotional wounds influence everything from relationships to career choices, often without conscious awareness. While therapy and brain training can help reverse some of this damage, it takes time, discipline, and patience. For example, large studies have linked childhood trauma to higher risks of heart disease, addiction, and even cancer in adulthood. Now let's move to the last takeaway. Takeaway 10, personal story of burnout and healing. In a deeply personal moment, Dr. Swartz shares how even with her expertise in neuroscience and medicine, she burned herself out by ignoring her body signals. She describes how she became emotionally numb, physically ill, and detached from her passions. She admits that knowledge alone could not save her. It was only through slowing down, reconnecting with her body, and applying the same advice she gives others that she was able to heal. For example, she talks about how she started practicing mindfulness 
and made changes to her sleep and eating habits, which brought back her emotional and physical strength. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video, please leave a like below and share this video in your WhatsApp groups. You can also discuss about this video by commenting below. To get more such videos in your timeline, press the subscribe button below. And if you'd like to support the channel, hit the thanks button below. Every bit truly helps us keep going.